Hi guys and welcome to Lizzie Dean Makes, I'm Lizzie Dean and this is the channel where we make, mend and grow our way to a big life on a small budget. Hi guys, welcome back. Here's Charlie. <laughs> so today I'm going to be making unpaper towels which is basically um, a reusable washable um, option for the paper towels in the kitchen. So I've got a wire paper towel roll holder um, that we normally put a disposable cardboard roll with the paper towels on um, on in the kitchen but we're going to switch over to using washable reusable paper towels for cleaning up spills and things like that so I've cut out um, a whole load of roughly 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter squares of the black flannel and I've also cut out a whole load of 10 centimeter squared um, squares of the fake Kath Kidston um, Provence Rose style fabric that I got off eBay. Um, it looks very similar to the Kath Kidston thing but I don't think that it is because um, it does look a bit different. Uh, but as you know Kath Kidston Provence Rose, you may not know, is um, my china wear patterns or my cutlery or my china wear um, all sorts of things my tea cozy my teapot uh, my milk jug and sugar bowl and everything is Provence Rose Kath Kidston um, and then I've got a whole load of other patterned mugs Kath Kidston I have everything <laughs> so um, I bought this because I thought it was the Kath Kidston but I don't think it's real um, but anyway, I'm going to use this to make my unpaper towels. So I'm going to attach them with these plastic snappers and I've got a plastic snapper gun here, which you use to attach them. So I'm gonna put um, two of the female on one side and two of the male on the other so that they can attach together in a long strip that I can roll around the um, paper towel holder. Uh, so <laughs> since we moved house, I have not been able to find my quilting ruler for love nor money and they're quite expensive so I'll probably be asking for one of those for Christmas. So I used this uh, tin that I keep all my threads in as a ruler and my rotary cutter but that didn't work out so well so I've actually just kind of roughly eyeballed these um, and cut them out with my fabric scissors which I'm not that bothered about whether they're perfect squares because I mean they're just paper towel replacements for wiping up spills they're not you know um anything fancy so i don't mind that much if they're all slightly different shapes and sizes but they are all um measured against the grid on my quilting cutting board um so i think they're roughly good enough uh, i'm going to be using my uh john lewis sewing machine which is the jl 11 0 se it's a special edition in hot pink i love it it's very very basic and very mechanical which is what I like I learnt to sew on old Singer sewing machines so everything was manual and mechanical and I can deal with that I can repair tension issues I can repair um, any parts that go awry um, I, I couldn't be dealing with an electronic one <laughs> uh, it has to be well I mean it's electronic but not one with a dial and screens and programming for different embroidery patterns and things I just like bog standard and I whack, whack things together with it <laughs> that's basically my sewing approach so um, I am going to get started what I'm going to do is place these wrong sides together and um, go around the outside leaving a small hole for turning through snip the corners off and um, so that they lie nice and flat turn them right side out and then um, top stitch around the outside uh, and then apply the poppers so um, I'm probably only going to use one layer of flannel and one layer of the um, cotton backing fabric. Um, I mean these will get really dirty so the black flannel should hopefully hide some of that but I expect that it will get through onto the pattern sides as well. But because they're completely cotton I can wash them at like 90 degrees or something and hopefully get some of the um, oil stains or whatever gets on them out of them. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Hi 
Hi guys, so I'm nearly finished now. I've just got one final towel to pop her up and I will show you how I do it. So as you can see, I've got these all rolled up and poppered together, connecting one to the next one and then rolled together as a roll of kitchen towel basically. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is just adding four poppers onto this last cloth so that it can attach in place to the previous one. So um, with the poppers you've got two types, you've got the inny and the outy popper. So this one is an outy and this one is an inny, otherwise known as male and female. So in mine I've got the male ones on the black side and I've got the female ones on the pattern side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get one of my what looks like a drawing pin but is essentially the cap of the popper. So it's smooth on one side and has a spike in the middle of the other side. And I'm going to put the cap facing down through the black and I'm going to work the spike through to the other side. I'm then going to put an inny over the spike. So I've got the inny on one side the cap on the other and the spike goes through the centre of the inny. I then take my popper pliers and the big black side there holds the cap while the clear rubber side actually presses the two together so then I give it a good squeeze and as you can see what that does is flattens that spike once it's gone through the hole so it's now too fat on this side to actually get back through the hole and that's how the popper works so that will then pop her and attach to the male one that was on the bottom here so I'm going to do the same thing again so then I'm going to go along and finish the final um, edge which is the, currently the leading edge but because these all have to be identical so that they could appear anywhere within the roll both the innermost one and the outermost one are going to have some loose poppers that aren't actually currently attached to anything so I'm going to add my male and my outer ones with the cap on the um, pattern side and the outy popper on the black side So then all my poppers are done and I have got a roll of kitchen towel so I can now slot the wire holder through the central thing and I will have a roll of reusable kitchen towels with a pattern side and a flannel side that I can use for cleaning up spills in the kitchen. So that's all. Hi guys, so here is my finished roll of kitchen towels on the kitchen towel holder. Um, and I've got the paper towels left so I will actually continue to keep some paper towels on standby um, because we do have a dog and occasionally he is sick and uh, that's quite a nasty clean up so um, I think we would rather use the disposable paper towels for that than actually have to um, put that through the washing machine because uh, he tends to eat cat feces and then be sick so it's really really nasty stuff so uh, I don't think we want that going through the washing machine um, he's delightful really this dog but they do do some rather gross things so we will be using the uh, reusable untowels for sort of general kitchen spillages um, I'm quite clumsy so coffee generally ends up everywhere or squash which is the two things I tend to have a cup or glass of on the go um, so that's mainly what these will be used to clean up and any kitchen spills from cooking. Um, and these will be reserved just for Charlie's extra special messes. 
so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have please give it a thumbs up down below and remember to subscribe and hit the little bell icon if you'd like to receive a notification every time I upload new frugal living make mend and grow videos thanks for watching guys bye